Hey, this is Adam with Tech Dive AV Club. We're in Vegas Pro 18. This is a Vegas Pro only feature. We're going to talk about batch rendering. And I'm surprised I haven't talked about this before. It's been something that I really should have talked about sooner. I do this from time to time. I'm editing a bunch of different tutorials. And since they all have the same layout and the same function, the same audio capturing source and record it around the same time, uh, it's sometimes it's easier just to drop them all in and keep editing in a row. Uh, so I've got one, two, three, four different projects here that I want to render out as uh, all at once because I want to just kind of, I've got all this work done today, I've been working on this all day, and I just want to leave my computer to work and finish the rest and have them all rendered out without me having to come back four different times and render them. I'm pretty confident that all this stuff's going to render out pretty normally. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how to prep and then how to complete your batch render. So whenever you've got multiple projects you want to render out or whatever, just make sure that you get them set up correctly because when you render it out, sometimes it's easy when you're doing a bunch of renders to, to like not grab the entire project so let's talk about that so you know create a loop region like you normally do when you render by grabbing up here at the top and then grabbing the entire project you want to make sure it snaps to the very end of your project and the very beginning of your project to prep it for the batch render you're going to need to create a loop region into a uh, like an as permanent region so you can right click your loop region and say insert region and you can name this whatever you want this one is a uh, text guide for Vegas image so to batch render what we're gonna do is we're going to go to tools scripting and then batch render and this is a script that Vegas has written to make batch rendering so much easier so when you run a batch render it's going to be different than a normal render. The way that it's going to prompt you on it, it's going to ask you the same questions but in a, in a different way. Uh, so it's going to ask you where you want these named and so uh, the file base name. So uh, the f this one is going to be called focus tut because it's the focus tutorial is the first one but I actually have four different tutorials but it's gonna name it one two three and four quick note from the future about the naming schema I oversimplified it a little bit so I want to now that I have a demonstration of it tell you what's actually going on so it doesn't name it like focus uh, tut one meaning like the name of my project and then one it actually names it the name of the codec because you could be choosing different codecs and it doesn't name it one it starts with zero in programming and things zero is the new one so zero means one so my one will be zero my two will be one so and, and so forth so that's just standard series counting and uh, it's that's the kind of no numbering it's going to do so Adam from the future is out and that's okay I'm gonna come back and rename them appropriately and it's gonna say render project you don't want to do that you need to want to go to render regions down here with these radial buttons at the bottom um, so that way you don't have to worry about what you have selected because you could go through and select different things or in the entire product but render regions is really gonna help you because now you can have a definitive beginning middle and end uh, beginning and end to all the different projects you want so We've got that set up. We've got our four regions set up. We've got render regions. Now we need to select the codecs we want. And if you select multiple codecs, it'll render out uh, as multiple codecs. And uh, that's one thing you could do. Another reason this could be helpful, like why you might want to render the project instead of render regions, is because maybe you want just one thing, but you want it in four different codecs, and you don't want to have to go back and do it over and over again. Uh, that's common when people are creating uh, edit codecs, or they're archiving it, and then making a version that's in the client, and all sorts of stuff. Um, so you have that option with this. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the main concept ABC AAC because that is, uh, oh, but we're not going to select this box right there. Sorry. Uh, this is the, um, YouTube codec that we've talked about in our best codec for YouTube video a long time ago. Um, probably need to redo that eventually. We've got a main concept and we've got only one checked for 1080p. And so now I will come out with four different versions. If I had two, I would have eight different versions, uh, one of each different resolution. So I don't want to do that. I just want one version each at 1080p and hit OK. So there we go. Now I'm rendering out. I'm going to go ahead and just let my computer have fun with this. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video helped you out. Subscribe if you're looking for more. Tons of helpful links in the description. I'll see you next time.